Facing Waves was brought to you in part by Canoe and Kayak Magazine, North America's premier paddle sports magazine. Subscribe now at canoekayak.com. This week on Facing Waves, we're in Puerto Rico for one of the premier stand-up paddling events in the world, the Paddle Royale. Having raced the long eight-mile course yesterday, which took riders through the exposed waters around Old San Juan Island, the athletes now prepare for the sprint races, a series of races ranging from 1,000 to 200 meters in length. Sprint and course racing, man, these guys are gonna get killed in these short, tight, hard races. It'll get their heartbeat going at a thousand miles an hour. Four of them today should be really fun. Check it out. It's the first of uh, four sprints, so three more. Hopefully, try to stay loose in between. Sprint. Yes, Danny was on top, but the, the leads here were just a marginal. There were so many void here, so many opportunities, so many passing chances that he had to be totally on his toes. Battle Royale enjoy competitors from all over the world. Candace Appleby came in from San Clemente, California to reclaim her rightful place as the top Battle Royale competitor. She had a tough race last year, but she was not gonna let anything or anybody come between her and her well-deserved first place. Take my hand, we'll keep on learning. The kids race was simply spectacular. Racing around an aqua park and cheering with their numbers and going through the race timing. Dozens of parents screaming from the shore. It made for a huge spectacle and it was super fun. The cool thing uh, about this weekend is there's, I think, like three or four different races. So we went around the island, it's ocean conditions, pretty tough, but they have a nice flat lagoon right here. So if, even if it's your first time on a board, you can come out and compete in a short race and still have a lot of fun. This is Karen from Wilmington, and I'm Kim from Cape Cod, and we just finished our Paddle Royale and uh, 48, 55, it's the new 30. So yeah, no, this has been great. We have one more race in us, right? The big finals, the big one series finals, Karen and I and two other gals. We better uh, get a little bit of hydration before that happens. <laughs> with the growing number of recreational riders getting involved with stand-up paddling, Big Sport introduced a new series of stand-up paddling races at the Paddle Royale event, designed for paddlers of any age or skill level. The idea is simple, to remove any advantage gained through equipment by having everyone race on the same board. The Big SUP One Design Challenge was started as 
a way to get more people involved in stand-up paddleboarding. One of the best things about the One Design Challenge is that everyone uses the exact same board. So it's all about the athlete. competitive but it's fun competition. Uh, this isn't meant to be uh, an elite level race, it's meant to be a really fun way to get out there. I kind of compare it to uh, going out for a road race. You know, you go, you go participate in a 5K or a 10K road race, you set your own goals, you participate, you have a great time, and uh, you can be as competitive as you want. And uh, the Vic SUP One Design Challenge is exactly that concept. Simple, fun, a great way to get out of the water, great way to try stand-up paddleboard racing, and a great way to hang out with your friends and have fun. Oh, it was great, man. A good experience, everybody on the same board. It's just a matter of who paddled faster, but very fun. So let's take a quick look at the gear that you're going to need if you decide you want to take a stand-up paddleboard trip to Puerto Rico. Here I've got a Big Sport 10.6 Ace Tech stand-up paddleboard. This is a great choice because it's an all-around board. You can do everything with this board. If you want to go flat water paddling, it's perfect for that. It's also great in the surf zone. You're going to want to have it in a bag and travel with a bag. That way you can put your extra gear in it as well. It's a good idea to bring an extra fin in case you break a fin. Also an extra leash because you can break your leash. Adjustable paddle is a nice thing to bring. Also footwear is really important because down here in Puerto Rico there are a lot of sandy beaches but there's also a lot of rocky beaches and reefs. So these body glove three T's are a great choice. Uh, they work really well for these types of conditions. So that was a quick rundown of some of the key gear that you want to bring with you on a trip to Puerto Rico. Don't forget the hat, sunglasses, sunscreen and rash guards as well.